Hi there. Welcome to our daily devotional for April 24th. Uh, the theme for this season is it's the Easter season, so we're going to go through 1 Corinthians 15. And our theme today is that Christ proved his resurrection. Our reading comes from 1 Corinthians 15, 5 through 7. It says, And that he appeared to Cephas, then to the twelve. Then he appeared to more than 500 brothers at one time, most of whom are still alive, though some have fallen asleep. Then he appeared to James, then to all the apostles. This is Paul proving that Jesus rose from the dead. This is one of my favorite texts probably in the whole Bible because it, it reminds us that what Jesus did was real. We don't have a, a religion or a faith that's, that's based on a, a story. We have a, a religion and a faith that is based on an actual event that happened in space and time. Jesus Christ really did rise from the dead. And how do we know? Well, he appeared to more than 500 people after he had died. He physically appeared to them. In fact, he was so physical that Luke 24 tells us, See my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Touch me and see, for a spirit does not have flesh and bones as you see that I have. Jesus physically rose from that. He wasn't a ghost. This was the real Jesus Christ. And we're going to learn a bit later in 1 Corinthians 15 that because Jesus physically, bodily rose, we have the assured hope of a physical, bodily resurrection also when he returns on the last day. And we're going to live forever because he defeated death. What wonderful news. Let's pray. Holy Trinity, we thank you for proving your love and gospel to us. It is so wonderful that our faith is a historical faith, grounded in time and space. Help us each and every day to believe it, trust it, and have faith in it more and more. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Holy Spirit, we ask that you would work in our world to bring many to faith. Send workers out into your harvest field to spread your word. Work through that word to convict hearts, convince minds, and find many lost sheep. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Mighty God, please help us to live out our faith in this world. Knowing that you have indeed defeated death, remind us that we have no need to fear or worry, and prompt us instead to live our lives boldly for you, serving others, giving to others, and telling others the great news of your resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all these things and everything else we need, let us pray to the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ, his Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with the Father and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a really great day.